The second hand boat market in Tasmania is as strong as ever with wheeling and dealing being done every day to buy your first boat, get into a bigger boat or get rid of the boat you never use anymore. But for the first time ever, there's more responsibility on both buyer and seller. Older boats might be cheap, but there can be hidden dangers, which both buyer and seller should be aware of. That's not a new message from Mast. We're seeing a lot of issues with unsafe vessels entering the market. Um, a lot of these boats are sold cheap on platforms such as Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace, um, and buyers perhaps are unaware of the hidden issues that might be within these boats, such as rotten transoms in fiberglass boats, cracks in cracks in fiberglass boats, osmosis in more serious cases, and of course in your aluminium boats, cracked welds, electrolysis and such. So um, making sure that we're, you're, you're aware of those issues and checking the vessel, overall condition is really important before you do make a purchase. Simple steps such as checking the transom and the floor for soft spots, inspecting the hull for cracks and ensuring the vessel isn't overpowered should be taken before any purchase. But both seller and buyer have got to be satisfied enough to declare the boat is not unsafe. Both the seller and the purchaser, the buyer, will need to declare that the vessel they're purchasing is not an unsafe vessel. Within our legislation there are certain parameters which make a vessel unsafe, such as the mass of um, the, mass of the engine the horsepower of the engine, if the vessel is not structurally sound, and the buoyancy requirements of that vessel. So the checklist Mars wants you to consider when purchasing a vessel includes, is the vessel structurally sound? Does the motor which is on the vessel comply with the Australian builder's plate or the manufacturer's recommendations in horsepower and mass? Has the buoyancy in the vessel become compromised over the lifespan of the boat? Once both seller and buyer are satisfied, it's a simple case of signing the new declaration on the transfer of ownership form. So everyone will be familiar with this document. This is your certificate of boat registration. Um, comes out every year with your renewal from MAST. Um, what we do need to remember with this is on the reverse side of this document is the notice of disposal and the transfer section for both parties. The notice of disposal section has the details of the, of the seller and who the new buyer is. The transfer section has the details of the buyer and what name the boat is going into. What has changed on this form is the fact that the seller and the buyer must sign this declaration declaring the vessel as not unsafe to persons and the buyer must also sign his, his section declaring the vessel as not unsafe. It's really important that both parties ensure they do this process. If they don't, MAS is unable to transfer the registration of that boat. If the declaration from both parties isn't made, MAST will not be able to transfer the vessel. If MAST do not have the seller's disposal and the buyer's transfer, we're unable to transfer the boat. So it's really critical and the responsibility is squarely placed upon both the seller and the buyer to make sure the correct transfer process takes place. If that does happen and registration is cancelled, then it will be up to the buyer to re-register the vessel once satisfied themselves the boat is safe. If the vessel's unregistered, then it requires a new vessel registration and the person filling out that vessel registration must be satisfied within themselves that the, that the vessel is safe. So for any reason that if the seller doesn't fill in the disposal notice correctly, that means that the buyer of the vessel will need to complete a new re registration and declare the vessel as safe. They may have had to undertake work to the vessel to get it to that stage, but they must satisfy themselves that what they have is a, is a, is a vessel that is not unsafe to persons or property.